Standard 7, Subject Maths, Chapter 1, Geometrical Constructions, Practice Set 5. Dear students, in the previous practice set, you have learned to construct a triangle given two angles and the included side. In this practice set, let us learn to construct a right angle triangle given the hypotenuse and one side. We know that a triangle with a right angle is called a right angled triangle. In such a triangle, the side opposite the right angle is called the hypotenuse. Let's have a look at an example. Draw triangle LMN such that major angle LMN is equal to 90 degree. Hypotenuse is equal to 5 cm. Length MN is equal to 3 cm. Let us draw the rough figure using the given information. You see that as measure angle L M N is equal to 90 degree, we draw a right angle triangle approximately in the rough figure and mark the right angle. Thus, we show the given information in the rough figure. So, first we will have to show triangle L M N as 90 degree and then mark the remaining measures of the sides given. And accordingly, once the rough figure is ready, we can start with construction of the triangle. So, let's start following the steps. First, as shown in the rough figure, draw the base which is seg mn of length 3 cm. So, from 0 to 3, mark a segment mn and write the measurement as 3 cm. So, our base is ready. Now we need to construct a right angle. So we make use of a protractor. Placing the center of the protractor at M, we mark a point at 90 degree on the top. And then with the help of a scale, we extend a ray from point M upwards. So this way we mark a arrow. Now we need to draw side LN, which is given as how much? Check the question. Length. Ln is the hypotenuse and it is given as 5 cm. So we take 5 cm in a compass and from point N, since Ln is 5 cm, we will not keep it at M but we will keep the pointer at N. Mark an arc on the given ray from point M and that point of intersection of the arc on the ray is point L. Join point L to point N. And seg ln completes the right angle triangle. Seg ln is of the measurement 5 cm. So accordingly write the measurement on the side ln. So this way we have constructed a right angle triangle as per the measures given. So let's now begin with our practice set number 5. Construct triangles of the measures given below. Question 1. In triangle MAN. Major angle MAN is equal to 90 degree. So first draw a rough figure where you roughly draw a right angle and name it as angle MAN which is 90 degree. Then the remaining sides which are given the measures have to be entered in the rough figure. So length AN is given 8 cm. So we write 8 cm where AN is there. Then length MN is given 10 cm. Once we complete our rough figure let's start the construction. First, we will draw a segment that is the base AN of 8 cm. So, using a scale and a pencil, you are going to draw segment AN 8 cm. Now, place the protractor center on point A and mark 90 degree point so that we can extend the ray from point A. Once this ray is constructed, we will measure in the compass, take a distance of 10 cm. Since Mn, you can see in the rough figure, your Mn is given as 10 cm. So, we will take 10 cm distance in the compass. And now, we will keep the pointer on which vertex? Yes, we will keep it on point N. So, point N is there. The pointer has to be placed exactly on point N. And on the ray, we will mark an arc. That arc intersects the ray which is drawn from point A. And this point of intersection has to be joined to point N to complete the triangle. And this forms our seg MN. 
so name the point as m mn is 10 cm so you can always refer to the rough figure so drawing a rough figure is a must so an is 8 cm mn is 10 cm and angle man is 90 degree this way we have completed the first question of practice set 5 let's move on to question number 2 in the right angle triangle stu hypotenuse su is given so draw a rough figure where you can show hypotenuse first su 5 cm and the angle opposite to su angle t will be a right angle now you have to carefully place the point s in such a place where you will get to draw the base if you take point s on top then SU the hypotenuse you will get but ST is not given ST is given in question which will come towards the side and not towards the base so that we get the ST as the base we will place point S in the base not on the top of the triangle okay so accordingly you try in your rough figure how you can get the base, base also and the right angle also properly along with the hypotenuse. So now that we have formed a rough figure, we will start the construction of the triangle. First, we draw segment TS which is given in the question 4 cm. ST you can read it as or TS. Then you place a protractor on point T and mark 90 and extend the ray from point T as per the rough figure we will have to mark an arc from S to get point U. US is given as 5 cm. So now in the compass, we will take exactly 5 cm distance. So keep the pointer head, the steel head of the pointer or the compass on 0 and extend till 5. Once you get the 5 cm distance in your compass, keep the pointer on S and mark an arc which extends from point T. Once the arc meets the ray which is extending on T, you mark that point and join it to point S. You get segment US. Mark the point as U. So this way we got US 5 cm and we have completed the question number 2. So you have to place the vertices carefully when drawing the rough figure. This is very important so that you can construct a triangle accordingly. Let's move on to question number 3. In triangle ABC, length AC is 7.5 cm. Angle ABC is equal to 90 degree. Since angle ABC is given 90 degree, we take ABC 90. We have got BC is equal to 5.5 cm. So, base is already there. And hypotenuse AC is given 7.5. Accordingly, we mark it in the rough figure. Once the rough figure is ready, we shall start our construction. BC is drawn already a 5.5 cm. Now take the protractor, place the center at point B carefully and then mark point at 90 degree. Join the point to B and extend it further from B to mark a arrow saying that it's a ray. Now we have to mark AC. To mark AC, we have to see the distance 7.5. So from 0 to 7.5, take the distance carefully. The pointer may shift while taking distance. So bring it back to 0 and take it to 7.5. And without shifting the distance in your compass, place the pointer at C and mark an arc. The arc will intersect the ray which is extended from B. The point of intersection is named as point A. When you join A to C, you get segment AC which is 7.5 cm. And angle ABC is a right angle. So this way we have completed question number 3. Next, question number 4. In triangle PQR, length PQ is given as 4.5 cm. Length PR is given as 11.7 .7 cm. And major angle PQR is equal to 90 degree. So first we take major angle PQR as 90 degree. Usually we will mark 
measure angle P, O, Q and R. But if we take P, Q, O, P, Q is given 4.5. We do not want P, Q, O. We want P, Q as the base. So, for that purpose, we will take vertex P over O at the base. So, the ang angle or the triangle will be named as triangle P, Q, R in this manner. Tri point P, point Q and point R over O. This way we will get the base PQ as 4.5 cm and the hypotenuse PR as 11.7 cm and angle PQR as 90 degree. So, once again I remind you to be very careful while drawing your rough figure. Place the vertex of the triangle in the proper place. Once the rough figure is ready and we have got the base, hypotenuse and the right angle in the proper place, we shall start the construction. So let's begin. QP is given as 4.5 cm in the rough figure. So it's already drawn. Now placing the protractor on Q as the center, we draw a 90 degree point as taken to draw 90 degree angle. So we extend the ray from Q and this forms a right angle. A right angle is formed but we will wait to put the arrowhead. Since 11.7 .7 has to be measured now for length PR. So placing the compass at point O carefully extend the pencil to 11.7 exactly. Since it's a big segment take the distance carefully place the pointer on P and mark the arc. Now you will see that we need to extend the ray further to meet this arc. So we will take the pencil and extend. So let's do with a pencil and a scale extend the ray and mark the arrow now so that you know exactly how much you require to extend now we got the point of intersection as point r when you join point r to point p we complete the construction of the triangle seg rp or seg pr is 11.7 centimeter and angle pqr is a right angled triangle so this way we have completed the construction of question number 4. Hope you have understood how to construct a right angle triangle given the base and the hypotenuse. Now we have question number 5. Here students should take examples of their own and practice construction of triangles. These 4 questions which I have mentioned here are of my own. They are not given in the textbook. You can either form your own questions or you can practice this sums. So I have chosen different types of triangles to be constructed from different practice set. For example, you will see in first sum, the sides are given, all three sides. Then in the second sum, only one angle is given and two sides are given. In this third sum, two angles are given here and one side. And in the fourth sum, one angle is 90 degree and the hypotenuse and one side is given. So this way different sums or different triangles can be construct constructed. So let's have a look. First sum with all sides given. You have already done this in the previous practice set. And you can complete your sum construction like this after you draw a rough figure. Second sum one angle is given 120 degree and the two sides are there which contain that angle accordingly you will construct a triangle third two angles are given 160 degree or the 40 degree and the base is given 6.7 according to the rough figure you will construct the triangle and the fourth sum which is a type of sum in this practice set itself of practice set 5 where angle is 90 degree and the base and the hypotenuse is given and accordingly you construct the triangle. So this way four examples of our own can be done and you can practice them. Dear students, please use proper geometrical instruments while doing construction work. Hope you have understood this practice at well. Do practice the sums in your book. Stay safe, keep learning and thank you.